Alright guys, got an unboxing for you. And this one's a Hi-Fi Bluetooth 4.1 receiver. Now this has been sent out for review for me from a company called, I hope I don't butcher this, I believe it's actually said AGP Tech. And that's obviously like the model or part number. Uh, not a great deal giving it away on the packaging round there, but as you can see, you can sort of use this to add to non-Bluetooth devices for transferring your music across. So we cast your favourite music from your Android tablets and smartphones, the iPhone, Apple Mac, Windows and Chromebook to speakers. So, uh, and this will go in your car as well. You can see that it's uh, all photographed in a car there to show you it in use. Quite heavy. So let's have a quick look inside anyway. So you're presented with the device itself straight away. Got a film on top of it. Relatively heavy device, but not overly heavy. Obviously you've got some little lights on the front there, I would say is what they are, just in there. And uh, around the back you've got where all your business takes place. So we've got DC 5 volts, I'm assuming that's to supply the power. So it'll be interesting to see whether this has actually got a battery in it or whether it needs to be continuously connected to the, uh, the output in your car. And we've got an out, a line in, and a power button. So, a little rubber feet on there. So let's put that there and we'll have a see at the other bits. Yeah, you do get quite a few other bits of cable by the looks of things. So we've got the uh, USB, micro USB. So that's obviously to power it by. So you will need an in-car charger to use that in your car, which is probably where I'll be trying it most of the time. 3.5 to 3.5. So that will be to plug your device in if it's not uh, Bluetooth or and it might actually, no, that'll probably transfer actually over to the car. So all this will get found out in the testing anyway. And then we've got uh, a set of these as well. So I'm assuming that's, yeah, so that's going to be for like your older stereo systems that don't have Bluetooth connectivity or whatever. So you can plug that into uh, one of the ports on the back of your amplifier and That'll go into this unit, and there you go. So, what's this? Ah, right, okay, so we've got a magnetic mount. Yeah, because that's made to clip onto the air vent in your car, so that's interesting. Now, I'm not really a massive lover of clipping to the vents, and that's purely because the vents can be quite fragile in cars, I've always found, but, that's quite a powerful magnet anyway, so I'm quite pleased about that. So, all right, okay, so we've got a little round one and then a square one. So I'm wondering if one's just been given to you for putting onto your device. Interesting, very interesting. It's always good to be able to sort of make your older vehicles connectable and you get your uh, basic instructions there that'll uh, tell you how to set it all up. That's all Chinese. Uh, yeah, plenty of good English on there as well, so shouldn't be a problem setting it all up. So I shall uh, review that for you guys and uh, get back to you in a couple of weeks, okay? Cheers for watching, guys. See ya.